Okay, tell me about this whole thing, just generally. Um, it's been really fun. I learned a lot, more than I thought I would learn about it. I didn't know a lot coming in. I felt like, well, I felt like I was prepared as much as I could, but I learned way more than I thought. You're probably the most improved person in the whole group. Thank you, you. You have. You've come the farthest. In from the beginning of our of our whole thing, you were pretty tentative. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I felt like you you peaked last night when you were uh, telling me about the bombing in the yes. Western Sahara. Yes. <laughs> Tell me what happened with that. Um, Serbia wanted to use Western Sahara for nuclear testing, and some West African countries were actually signing on and thinking that was an okay deal. They didn't think about how it would pollute our resources or our nature, anything like that. And it was unbelievable. Only one country was outraged by it, and that was Chad. And they walked out. They walked out. They said, we're disgusted by Serbia. We want them to... We want the dais to consider moving them from the meeting or we will walk out. And the dais took about two minutes to talk and they said, remember Rule 2.2, diplomatic courtesy, and that's all they said. They said thank you and Chad walked out. And I saw, I saw him late last night at the, after the dance. I saw him and I was like, that's really cool how you did that. And he was like, yeah, we did not want to stay. Like, when you get here, so many people they just come up, hi, what country are you, what committee are you in, where are you from, and they shake your hand, they say, hey, let's exchange numbers so we can talk later, or hey, you write, it, write your number down for me, and you just pass notes with them, and you feel like you know them. Like, even if you see them in the halls, you're like, hey, Singapore, hey, Australia, it's just so cool. Um, my topic was the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, and since Sierra Leone doesn't really have any nuclear weapons, it's hard to take too much of a position. I mean, it's easy and it's hard because there's not really any options, and we cannot, we could not um, even work with nuclear weapons. Like, we would just be destroyed, so the only option is we don't like nuclear weapons, obviously, so. Cool. What, did you, what do you think was your biggest improvement over the span of the last uh, three months, or two and a half months? Just learning about, po I did not know that much about politics. Only like from my dad, I just knew some stuff, but now I feel like I know so much stuff. I didn't even know remotely anything close to what the model United Nations was, or regular United Nations, and now I know so much. Would you, would you recommend this class to somebody? Yes. Definitely. There's no downside to it. Last thing about Model UN. Coming to Chicago, seeing the city. And what was the what was the thing that you liked least? Getting up at seven AM was the thing that I liked the least. Yeah, you guys didn't get much sleep. No, because we were up late too. But we were having fun, so I didn't want to go to bed early either. Anything, any final thoughts? Take the class. Take the class.